Last week, I had asked you about Narendra Modi and how the U.S. has compromised on some of its values. And the BBC just released a documentary on Modi, on how he had butchered. And the report was just released. It, it was a government report. BBC just released it. It was made by a former secretary in which he has even mentioned higher number of deaths, higher numbers of women raped. And it was just done right under the nose of Narendra Modi. I don't, I, I, I never challenged the strategic interest of the U.S. with India, but I regret the fact that since last eight years that I've been covering the State Department, I have not seen once an official standing here at UC condemning Narendra Modi himself individually, not just as a prime minister, but individually his acts. And I'm sure the U.S. officials were aware of it as well. I'm not aware of this documentary that, that you point to, but I, what I will say broadly is that there are a number of elements that undergird the global strategic partnership that we have uh, with our Indian partners. Um, there are uh, close political ties, there are economic ties, there are exceptionally deep people-to-people -people ties uh, between the United States and India, uh, but one of those additional elements are the values that we share. Uh, the values that are common to American democracy and to Indian democracy. Uh, India, of course, is uh, the world's largest democracy. It's a, it's a, it's a vibrant uh, democracy. Uh, and again, um, we look to everything that ties us together, uh, and we look to reinforce all of those elements that tie us together. So my godfather is an Indian as well, by the way. So I have all the respect for India. Don't get me wrong. But I just regret the fact that how is it possible <clears> that the State Department officials who were posted there at that time did not know that this individual who's uh, is a former chief minister, he is, it, it happened right under his nose. 2,000 people were burned alive. Uh, again, I'm not familiar with the documentary you're uh, referring to. Uh, I am very familiar with the shared values that connect uh, the United States and India as two uh, thriving, uh, vibrant democracies. Uh, when we have concerns about actions that are taken in India, we've uh, voiced those. Uh, we've had an occasion to, to do that. But uh, we want, first and foremost, to reinforce uh, yes. those those values that are at the heart of our relationship. One follow-up, but does, do, you, do you think that such foreign policy has affected President Biden's अगर आप भी लेना चाहते हैं देश दुनिया की तमाम जानकारी तो आज ही सब्सक्राइब करें हमारे चैनल को साथ ही नीचे दिए बेल आइकन को जरूर दबाएं ताकि हर अपडेट आप तक पहुंच सके